Okay, hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hi, Jennifer. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hello, Melissa. Hello. Okay, we're going to admit all these people that are coming in right now. Okay, good. I think we have Marvin, Maurice, Dinora, Emmanuel, Bushia, Luis. Okay, more people. Sure. Okay. All right. Okay, how many? Okay, almost. Okay, I think the rest will be, I think the majority must be here. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's my name, people. Luis Avellan, okay? You can call me Luis, no problem. How are you today? So we're supposed to be 26 in this moment. Okay, solo una indicación quizás para, en general, pues mantengan este, los micrófonos apagados mientras estén participando para evitar el sonido ambiente que se, que se genera a veces que uno pueda tener. ¿va? Y yo, yo a veces uso mejor este tipo de de audífono porque siento yo que oops, eh, no, 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 no contamina mucho el sonido del, de la transmisión. Así que eso quizás sería lo, lo principal. 
y pues los que puedan también encender la cámara sería bueno pues para que podamos conocernos un poco. Este, si no les funciona tampoco no, es, no hay problema. Y quiero ver qué más, no sé si alguien tiene alguna pregunta. Eh, esta, las clases son de 9 a 10, de lunes a jueves. Solo que esta semana hemos iniciado martes, así que vamos a tener clase el viernes, ¿ok? Esta semana nada más, por, por cuestión de llevar las, las cuatro horas semanales que se deben de, de dar para cumplir con el programa. Así que este viernes sí vamos a tener clase, pero ya los, las otras tres semanas que, que siguen, pues ya no. Ya solo van a ser eh, de lunes a jueves las clases, siempre en el horario de 9 a, de 9 a 10. Si en alguna ocasión se eh, llegara a dar la situación de que se me desconecto, se va la luz o algo, y ustedes se mantienen ahí, ustedes piensen ahí que, o a veces el internet podría fallar, que pues, a veces por, por la lluvia, no por la lluvia. Este, se quedan acá y yo, y yo me vuelvo a conectar inmediatamente con, de alguna u otra manera, ¿verdad? ¿Alguna pregunta? No, teacher. No, everything's fine. Okay, okay good. All right, so this, what level is this? Three. Uh -huh. Level well, three. Okay, intermediate, beginner. Principiant. Principiant, right, okay, good. But, okay, I'm going to, the class is, I mean, it's going to be in English as much as possible. But, you know, in case you have questions and you need to ask something in Spanish, okay, you can tell me, right? Uh, you can interrupt my class when you have a question. Siéntense con confianza de hacer preguntas y todo. No se queden con dudas, por favor. Cualquier pregunta es muy, muy, pero muy bienvenida y bien recibida porque eh, aquí se, cuando ustedes hacen alguna pregunta, eso ayuda bastante para que para que se pueda, digamos, como explicar mejor un tema, ¿ok? Sé que ustedes me van a ayudar en ese sentido. Si tienen dudas, ah, si tienen ninguna pregunta. Recuerden que no hay preguntas, eh, digamos, así como que podamos decir, ah, muy básico. Muy básica que parezca. Ok, eh, eh, apaguen los micrófonos. Micrófono, micrófono. Ok, thank you. Ok. Now, let's get started then with today's topic. And we have this. And we have somebody else coming in. Okay, so this is the beginning. Okay, good. Uh, let me pick somebody here. Uh, Sara, Sara Calderon. Yes, teacher. Can you please read this uh, objective here in English? Okay. Let's... By the end of this class, you will learn the month and the date. Additional, you will learn uh, to about birthdays. Birthdays. Okay, good. So then here we're going to learn about month and date. January, February, April, May, March. And then we're going to use, uh, also we're going to learn to tell about our birthdays. Okay. Now in this case, we're going, first we're going to learn the pronunciation. Pay attention to the pronunciation of the month and the pronunciation of the date. Okay, we have from 1st to 31st because these are the quantity of days in a month, okay? So then, uh, and after that, there will be a question about your birth, okay? Now, listen. Hi, everyone. This class will learn the months and dates. Additionally, you'll learn about birthdays. Let's get started by Practice the months and the dates. The months. January. February. 
March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Dates. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twentieth, twenty-first, twenty-second, twenty-third, twenty-fourth, twenty-fifth, twenty-sixth, twenty-seventh. Twenty-eighth, twenty-ninth, thirtieth, thirty-first. Question is, when is your birthday? My birthday is on April fifth. To express. Birthdays, or to express any particular date, we can follow this in this form. That is the special day, plus the verb to be, plus the preposition on, plus month, plus the date. Let's put that formula into practice. My birthday is on April fifth. The special day is my birthday. Then we go to the verb is. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the word April. And finally, we include the date. Fifth. Let me give you one more example. When is Independence Day? <laughs> the uh, the special day is Independence Day. Then we include the verb to be is. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the month. Finally, we the date. And now it's your turn to practice by expressing special days or holidays from the week. For example, Thursday, Valentine's Day. We need to add position. And finally, we include the date. <clears throat> okay, I just want to emphasize something here that says, when is your birthday? Okay, it's the question, right? And then you have, my birthday is, and then you're going to use the preposition on, then the month, and the date. My birthday is on March 2nd. My birthday is on June uh, 7th. My birthday is on August 16th, okay? So you're gonna use always the preposition on. When is Independence Day in the United States? Independence Day is on the month and the date, okay? The special day is birthday, Independence Day, Labor's Day, or any other celebration that uh, that you want to know the date okay uh, let me see for example here we have some others 
a example here that we have. It says here, for example, the Labor Day, okay? Labor Day in the United States, okay? Not in El Salvador, is on September 7th. Okay, Labor Day is on September 7th. What about El Salvador? When is Labor Day in El Salvador? Anybody? The, the Labor, uh, Labor Day. Day uh, mm. In El Salvador is uh, first, yes. per, pardon, May, May, May first. The preposition is is on the May May first. Is uh -huh, is on May the May first. Not the okay. It's on May oh, first. Uh -huh. Only on, on the, the month. And the date. Okay. It's on May 1st. Okay, it's on May the 1st. You can use. Okay, that one. What else? Another one. Columbus Day. Columbus Day is on October 12th. And in El Salvador? Come on, raza. It's the day of the raza. Ya no se celebra acá. Okay. When is it? Uh -huh. When is the Columbus Day? In El Salvador, Columbus Day is October 12th. It's on October 12th. Okay. Antes se celebraba, hoy ya no. Okay, hay muchas cosas en contra de todos. Entonces, they don't celebrate it anymore. Veterans Day, we don't have Veterans Day in El Salvador. This is in, for the people who fought in the wars in the United States. Uh, Thanksgiving, okay, now some people celebrate Thanksgiving in El Salvador, okay. Uh, Thanksgiving is, this year is on November 26th, okay. Christmas is? December. When? It's on December 25th. On December 20, 25th, Christmas, right? It, in El Salvador, we celebrate December, December 24th, but it's the, the Vispera, Christmas Eve, okay? But the Christmas Christmas is on December 25th, okay? What else? Uh, we have New Year's Day is on January 1st. On January? Yes. First. Okay, on January 1st. Okay, on good. January 1st. On January 1st, yes. Okay, good. Now, let me check here, okay? Now, can we practice with, with your birthdays? Okay, for example, you can use, uh, let's see, uh, Josabet, right? Josabet? Yes. Okay, when, when is your birthday? My, my birthday is March 17th. On March 17th. Okay, my birthday is on March 17th. Good. Carlos Gomez, when is your birthday? My birthday is uh, May 23rd. On, on May? On 23rd. On May 25th, okay? Always remember, on May 25th. Uh, let me see now, Roger, Roger Jimenez, when is your birthday? My birthday is on May 21st. On May 25th, too. Wow. Okay, 25th. Okay. On the same day. Okay. Luis Canales. Luis Canales. Okay. My birthday is on April 4th. On April? April 4th. April 4th. Okay, good. Then Larissa. 
ask the question to ask the question to Jennifer. Okay, uh, Jennifer. Uh, when is your birthday? My birthday. My birthday is on October twenty. On October twentieth. On October twenty. Good. Jennifer, ask a question to Veronica Lopez. Veronica, what is your uh, what is your birthday? Birthday. When is your birthday? Okay, my birthday is on June sixteenth. On June sixteenth. Okay, on June sixteenth. Okay, good. Veronica, I ask a question to Alfredo. Alfredo um, Lopez. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ask the question. When uh, is your birthday? Alfredo. Can I pregunto? Alfredo. When? Alfredo. Alfredo? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. When is your birthday? My birthday. Is on July 24. Okay. okay. Very good. Now, uh, Alfredo, okay. a question to Ever. A, sorry, no le escuché. Okay. ¿A quién? Apaguen los micrófonos, por favor. Para que... uh, ¿A quién le hago la pregunta? A question. Ever, Ever, Ever. ever. Ever Parada. Ever Parada. When is your birthday? My birthday is on July 7th. Okay, very good. July 7th. Excellent. Okay, so this just for you to have an idea, right? So this is the first one. When is your birthday? And remember, my birthday is on December 7th. Okay, on july 17 okay that's what you have to remember okay this is the my birthday is on april 5th one two three four five six words okay now i'm going to show you now the second one because after we're going to have a practice here okay maricruz Can you please read this objective here? Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer yes and no question using the going to. Additionally, you will practice a converse. conversation. Conversation. About, about. Perdón, teacher, es que no, no, problem. no me veo, es que me tapaba. Okay, yes. Additionally, you will practice a conversation about birthday plans. This conversation illustrates, illustrates how this topic is using in a real life setting. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, so then uh, we have when is your birthday? Okay, that is the expression that we were using the question. And now we are going to use the future using going to. Okay, going to. And B is going to be changed by I am, you are, you wish it is. Okay, listen and pay attention to the video, okay? Okay. Here we go. Some notice if you didn't pregunta, you can ask, okay? After you finish this activity, share your work and our discussion. And answer yes or no questions using. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to ask and answer yes or no questions using be going to.
Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about birthday plans, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled Happy Birthday. Let's listen and practice. Happy Birthday. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Now let's analyze the examples from the chart. The future with be going to. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. No, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're going to sing happy birthday. No, they aren't. But they're going to give me a cake. We use be going to to talk about future events. Let's learn to form statements using be going to to talk about future events. We can follow this formula to express the future with be going to. Subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples from the chart. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. These examples are contracted, by the way. In order to illustrate these examples, I will do it without contractions. I is the subject. Next, we have the verb to be, am. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb celebrate. Finally, we add my birthday. Let's analyze one more example. She's going to invite all my friends. The subject is she. Next, we have the verb to be is. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb invite. Finally, we add a compliment, all my friends. Let me show you how to form yes or no questions with be going to. To do that, we're going to follow this formula. The verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus the verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Are you going to do anything this weekend? The verb to be is are. Next, we have the subject, you. After that, we need to include the auxiliary, going to. Then we put the verb, do. Finally, we add a compliment, anything this weekend. And we put a question mark at the end. These are yes or no questions. So to answer them, it's quite simple. Just like you see on the examples towards the right hand side of the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Our next example. I'll choose the last question on the chart. Are the waiters going to sing to you? The verb to be is are. The subject is the waiters. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb sing. Finally, we add a compliment to you. 
and a question mark at the end. Now it's your turn to practice making statements and yes or no questions using be going to. Think about your plans for the weekend and write them down. Do as many examples as you can. Okay, let's try to have this uh, here. Question? Do you have any doulas, doubts? No sentimental, ask, pregunte. No problem? Hola. Hello, Karen. Hola. El conto es como para una acción, para... El going to. Ajá. Going to. Todavía no, no le entiendo el cómo. Perfecto, perfecto. Esas son las preguntas que yo quiero. Excelente. Good. Okay, so we have, I am going to go to the beach on Sunday. No es cierto, okay? Solo un ejemplo. Okay, I'm going to go to the beach on Sunday. Okay. El going to es una forma en inglés de expresar el futuro. Uh -huh. Planes, ok? Plans that we have in the future, ok? For example, when we say, I am going to go to the beach on Sunday, quiere decir que voy a ir. Tengo ese plan, uh -huh. right? So then, going to is voy a. Entonces, acá, después de going to, usted puede usar cualquier verbo de cualquier acción que usted vaya a realizar. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, I'm going to... Uh -huh. eh, Sustituir eh, fuera como para no usar el will. will. Eh, tienen funciones diferentes. ¿Ok? O sea, digamos que aquí porque tenemos un plan. Yo estoy como aquí, ya tengo como algo que se puede predecir o algo que se puede... Que estamos, no, ya estoy pensando en hacer. El will es cuando uno está mucho más seguro de algo que va a suceder o cuando uno decide en el momento hacer algo, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, yeah, sí. eh, I, will, I will see you tomorrow, ¿ok? La veré mañana, nos veremos mañana. Entonces, es algo que se decide en el momento, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Es un decir. I will, uh, por ejemplo, I will, I will learn English. Aprenderé inglés. Pero el plan mm -hmm. es, I'm going to learn English this year. Voy a aprender inglés este año. Sé que hay un plan, algo más, más seguro. Aunque en el futuro nunca se sabe. Sí, pero, ahora sí, entendí. Ajá, no se sabe, pero ya digamos que no tiene una idea. ¿okay? Y acá se puede poner cualquier verbo que usted quiera. Por ejemplo, I'm going to eat eh, a hamburger after this class. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Puede ser que sí, puede ser que no. Es mi, mi, mi plan, ¿verdad? I'm going to eat. O I'm going to watch a movie. Teacher. Going to what? Uh -huh. Luis. El, verbo, el verbo que va después del going to siempre va a ir en presente. Very good. Thank you. Eso es lo que me gusta. Seis cuestiones. Ok, la base form del verbo. Ok. Siempre. <coughs> you can use see, play, work. Eh, eat, sleep, ok, so you can say I'm going to see, I'm going to see the beach on Sunday, ok, I'm going to play soccer at the beach on Sunday, I'm going to work, I'm going to work at the beach on Sunday, I'm going to eat fish, and dream I I the beach. Uh -huh. or I'm going to sleep on the beach on Sunday. The verb siempre, siempre Luis, no va a cambiar. Okay, siempre o sea, see, play, no cambia. Okay, esa es una ventaja porque solo se ocupa, esta es la forma original de un verbo, sí. No hay, no hay tercera persona, he, she, she, nothing. Okay. 
Okay, any other question? No question. Okay, good. Now, <clears throat> remember that if you want to make a question, you use, are you going, sorry, are you going to go to the, to the beach on Sunday? Question mark? Okay. This is affirmative, right? This is interrogative. And what is what is the answer? Are you going to the party? Are you going to go to the beach on Sunday? What is the answer? Affirmative? Yes. I am. Negative? No? No what? No, no, I am not. Okay, very good. No, I'm not. Okay. Or you can use, are you going to the beach on Sunday? Yes, I am going to go to the beach on Sunday. The long answer. Or, yes, I am. Are you going to the beach? Are you going to go to the beach on Sunday? No, I am not going to go to the beach on Sunday. For short answer, no, I'm not. Okay, what else? A verb to be. Verb to be. Okay, we use. What, what is the verb to be? Uh, when we say am. You. Am is for? I. What, verb? what verb? Uh, what is the pronoun? The subject. I. 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 Okay, very good. I. If I say yes. He, she, 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 he, she, he, she, it. He, she, it. 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 Okay. Good. And if you say are. You. You. They. We. They, we. Okay. We. You. Okay. We. Okay. we, you, they, we, you, they, okay. Remember that the first you is singular, right? And the second okay. you is plural. Correct. Okay. okay. Uh, what else? Only. Okay. And if you see here, for example, you're going to use question. You can use a question with he. You can say is. He. Uh, he can be, for example, uh, let me see here, um, ever. Is he? Uh, is he going? Is he going to dance? On Saturday? Night. Yes, I am. Yes, uh -huh. I am. <laughs> yes. Okay, yes, then we say, yeah, we say yes, I am. Then yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay. You got it. And then uh, you yes, can I do, am. Uh -huh. and then you can do the same with all the, the other for now, right? Is he, is she, for example, we can see here, uh, let me see, Christina, is Christina going to, is Christina going to sing, a, let's say, a, at a karaoke on Saturday night? Christina? Mm -hmm. Yes, she is. Yes, I am, right? Christina. So then we say yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, so then is Christina going to sing karaoke on Saturday night? Yes. yes. Okay. Good. No problem. Questions? Alguna otra duda que tenga? Pregunta? 
affirmative sentence, remember that here you have to use, I am, you can say, uh, you are, he is. Okay, and then you can say, I am going to go to the beach on Sunday. You are going to go to the beach on Sunday. He is going to go to the beach on Sunday. She is. Uh -huh. She is. Oh, si vamos a llevar al perrito. You can say, it is. O al gatito. Right? It is going. going. It is going to be. Y tiene nombre. Uh, what is the name of the dog? Snoopy. What? Snoopy. Snoopy. Okay, Snoopy. Okay. Here. Crap it all. Okay, Snoopy is going to go to the beach. Okay, I'm done. So you see, affirmative sentence. And then, question. Is Snoopy going to go to the beach on Sunday? You only change like a simple word. Okay? No question. No questions? Any questions? Una, una pregunta. Uh -huh. eh, por ejemplo, este sería, prácticamente reemplaza voy a. Por ejemplo, voy a ir a la fiesta o voy a ir a, a la playa, como lo están colocando aquí. Pero, uh -huh. y cuando es en futuro, digamos, I will go to the party. Ok. I will go to the party. ¿Cuál sería la diferencia si le digo, I'm going to go to a party and I will go to a party? Mm, prácticamente en español sería, si es I will go to the party, es ir a la fiesta. Uh -huh. Si es I'm going to the party, sería voy a ir a la fiesta. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería una diferencia? Uno está afirmando. Bueno, es que ambos están afirmando para mí. Ajá, ajá, ajá. ¿Cuál suena más seguro? Iré a la fiesta. Ok, exacto. Entonces, el will y el going to no lo sustitu no sustituyen, sino que el going to se usa más a veces para planes que uno tiene. Ok. Y para, digamos, este, para hacer predicciones. ¿Qué pasa si usted sale y ve que todo el cielo está súper oscuro, un gran, una gran ventisca, mucho viento, y, y las nubes están bien bajas? Pero no, está, no están cayendo, no está cayendo agua. ¿Qué diría? Va a llover. Ajá, va a llover. It's going to rain. Uno puede predecir que la lluvia viene, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero en El Salvador, bueno, en cualquier parte, de repente usted ve así, y de repente el viento viene, se lleva las nubes y aparece el sol. ¿Ya? Entonces, uh -huh. por eso a veces, eh, al menos cuando los pronósticos a veces dicen, is going to o will. O sea, cuando ya, pero usted ve que viene, no, si ya está hasta pringando, está, no, de, it will rain. El will a veces puede ser más, más este, digamos como más certero, como que bien seguro de que algo va a pasar. Ok. O puede ser también algo incierto, right For example, you can, depende como uno lo diga. I will have money. For example, I will buy a house in Miami next year. ¿Cómo suena? Ok, apaguen los micrófonos para que no haya interferencia. Eh, hello, hello, microphones. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Apaguen su micrófono, please. Ok. Ok. Yo digo, por ejemplo, I will buy a house in Miami next year. ¿Suena bien certero o no? ¿O bien seguro? Sí, se escucha bien certero. Ok, vamos a ver. I will buy a house someday in Miami. Or I will buy a house in Miami someday. Yes. La segunda que dije, ¿cómo suena? 
compraré una casa en Miami algún día. Repeat, please. I will, I, will buy a house, I will buy a house in Miami someday. Podría ser. ¿Verdad? Que puede hacer que sí, puede hacer que no. Pero que no te digo, I will buy a house next year. Ok, ya estoy diciendo que ya estoy dando esta fecha. Ok. El will da esa sensación de que depende de cómo uno lo diga, puede ser algo que va a suceder o algo que uno espera que sucede y que puede ser hasta un sueño. Right? Going to es plan or prediction. Ok. For example, this class is going to finish or will finish, aquí las dos pueden ser, in 13 minutes or in 14 minutes. This class will finish on at nine. Teacher, okay. uh -huh. este going to se puede utilizar para preguntar, por ejemplo, qué es lo que va a hacer uno el día de mañana o en un okay. día uh -huh. determinado. Like what, what, what are your plans for tomorrow? Uh -huh. Exactly. For example, are you going to, are you going to watch Netflix after this class? No, yeah, I, am. I don't. Okay, no, I am not. Who said, who said yes, I am? I am not. Yeah, huh? Your teacher. Okay, good. Then, are you going to watch uh, a movie or a series? Series. Okay, good. Which one? Um, se llama... It's new. Okay. A new series, right? A new series. Okay, so then, but you see, for example, this is, I'm going to watch, uh, let's say, Netflix tonight. So that is a plan that you have for tonight. Okay? But somebody said, no, I'm not going to watch Netflix tonight. So you don't have any plans to watch Netflix tonight. Okay, for example, are you going to study English this weekend? Anybody can answer, cualquiera puede responder. Are you going to study English this weekend? No, I am not. No, I am not, okay? So it is not in your plans to study English this weekend. Okay, good. Uh, who else? Another question? Y en todo caso, preguntar a alguien, eh, cualquier, así, ah, cualquier pregunta con going to, eh, mm -hmm. uno podría responder con will. Eh, en el caso de estar seguro que sí lo hará. Depends. Uh, what question? Tell me, the, tell me an example. Because it's possible. Suppose, veamos, yo digo, I'm going to, are you going to, let me see, are you going to work tomorrow? Okay, in the answer you have to say, yes, I am. Okay, yes, I am. Uh, then after that, después de eso, you should say, yeah, yes, I am. I will have to go to the office or I will have to do this, okay? Then, uh, uh, primero, the first is, yes, I am. Okay, are you going to work tomorrow? Yes, I am. I will have to go, or I will have to send uh, a lot of emails, ahí puede dar toda la respuesta que quiera. Pero para seguir la lógica, es, yes, I am, right? Y después de eso, si puede usar, I will have to, I will do this, I will do that. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, if you have no more questions, let's uh, see now we have, I'm gonna delete this. Okay, we're going to check the other. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, good. Now, here, uh, please for tomorrow write uh, questions, okay? like, uh, I don't know, questions that, sentences or plans that you have for this week, right? 
for example, like the examples I gave you uh, right now, you can say, for example, I am going to uh, stay in my house this weekend. Okay. What else? You see here, I am going to the plan that I have. The stay is the verb, not change, in my house this weekend. Then you have the company. Okay, another one? Help me. Um, I am going to the work tomorrow. Okay, I am going to work tomorrow. What's your name? Roger Jimenez. Ro Roger, okay, Roger, Roger. Yeah. Okay, Roger, now I'm gonna use Roger is going to work tomorrow. Okay, you see I'm using is another one. I am going to clean my house tomorrow. I am going, okay to clean my house tomorrow. Okay, this is a good one. Okay. I'm going to eat meat tomorrow. Okay, very good. And this is it. Okay, I am going to to eat meat. Tomorrow. Okay, let's say when I change uh, on Friday, solo para cambiar tomorrow. Okay, no problem. Para que vean ustedes, ya. Yeah. Eh, este tipo de ejercicio es bueno porque muchas veces ustedes tienen vocabulario, pero cuando no lo practican, se les va quedando, se les va olvidando. Entonces aquí podemos cambiar de I'm going to work, uh, I'm going to work uh, next next week. La idea es traer todo ese vocabulario nuevamente a la mente, ¿verdad? Keep it, para mantenerlo vivo. Ok, I'm going to eat. If you say, for example, stay, work, aquí repetimos work, clean, eat. One, two, three, four verbs. O sea, podemos ir usando diferentes verbos, no el mismo. Eh, for example, let's see, uh, we are going to, to what? Run. To run, okay. Um, in the park. In the park. Okay, good. In the park. Very good. Two different, different vocabulary. We are going to run in the park. In the street. In the street, uh huh. They, they are going to. Play what? Video games. Check it out. Video games. Uh, when? Tonight. 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 Very good. Okay. So you see, for example, these are some, uh, you can follow these examples. Okay, here, right? Tiene, tiene que, teacher, perdón, tiene que agregar una pequeña descripción, le dice ahí en el, yeah, el título. Here. Uh -huh. here. I couldn't find it before, thank you. Uh, we have Alexera uh, going to, going to send. There you go. Okay, good. So then you can have those examples and then you can write more, add more to practice, okay? And I will be checking them, you know, to the, tomorrow, right? And then or whenever you you have them there. Okay, let's see. What else? Any other question, people? Right now we have two topics. When is your birthday? 
and volume two. Okay, what we're going to do tomorrow is tomorrow we are going to uh, work in small groups. Okay, I'm going to to go to the to the uh, to the to the breakup uh, rooms, and then we're going to use uh, going to when is your birthday? When is it? Uh, for example, when is the Independence Day in Salvador? For example, when is Valentine's Day? When is Valentine's Day here in El Salvador? I don't know if it is the same in other countries. When is Valentine? Uh -huh. Teacher, eh, eh, disculpe, solo una pregunta. Fíjese de que yo en la mañana traté de accesar al curso eh, para, la, para hacer todo el curso, pero no me dejaba. ¿Será porque no habíamos comenzado? Y ahora sí ya me va a dejar, solo pregunto. Es muy probable, porque yo incluso hasta mediodía tuve acceso también a la plataforma. Ah, ok. Entonces, este, ya a mediodía, si ya pude, también no me había llegado el link. Ya a mediodía, si ya pude ingresar y ver los temas que vamos a tener ahora. Entonces, puede ser, puede ser que por eso no haya podido. Incluso por eso okay. no puso okay. oraciones Muchas gracias. Uh -huh. yes. Pero si tienen cualquier, okay. eh, si tienen algún problema de ese tipo, este, me lo, lo pónganlo ahí en el WhatsApp y aquí está, ahí pueden buscar a Jonathan también okay, y él nos puede ayudar, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, yo, así alguien me mandó, me mandó un mensaje también, alguien que no podía ingresar por el password y creo que Jonathan nos, nos ayudó con eso. Así ok, es. muy fino, se lo agradezco. Okay, feliz noche. No Gracias. Ok, good, good. Thanks. All right. Ok, good. Then, uh, no questions. I have a question. Go, go, go. Eh, no, este que estaba escuchando sobre lo del acceso a la plataforma. Yo me preguntaba también si iban a hacer un grupo de WhatsApp, así como, por ejemplo, el, el módulo pasado teníamos un grupo de WhatsApp. Uh -huh. No sé si lo van a, a hacer para que nos agreguen. En el, ah, bueno. en el, ¿cómo se llama? En el correo que les estoy enviado con toda la información. Ahí está el link. Yo así ah, lo agregué okay. también ahora en el, en el link. Ya, me, ya le da el link con ahí y ya lo agrega ahora. Ah, Uy, bueno, entonces automáticamente, está, solo busco ese link y ahí me aparece. Ahí está, en el correo que le han enviado, ahí está todos sus links eh, y ahí nos podemos ya agregar. Ah, ok, ok. okay. okay. Thank you. Ok, anytime. Ok, so then uh, remember that on this class, uh, we're going to have classes on Friday. Okay, this Friday, but uh, esta semana va a ser diferente. Ok. And, okay. Y traten, miren, esas preguntas, si se dan cuenta, todas las preguntas que hicieron son bien. Eh, son buenas porque nos ayuda, a mí me ayuda por lo menos para explicar no de más, sino que justamente lo, las dudas que ustedes puedan tener. Ok, tal vez alguno ya la sabe, pero otros no, y eso ayuda a que se aparezca todo. Importantísimo. Eh, así como acabamos de hacer este ejercicio, traten de, aunque sea suene repetitivo, pero traten de usar diferentes verbos, con oraciones, con diferentes frases, como to night, to morrow, next week. Now, ahora que vamos a estar usando el going to is for future, next month, next year, eh, in two days, for example, I'm going to, I'm going to buy a, a new TV in three months, okay? I'm going to celebrate my eh, wedding anniversary in, in one month, okay? Todo ese tipo de vocabulario, practicen, okay? Because el vocabulario si no se practica, se olvida y después eh, uno siente la necesidad de decir algo y no encuentra las palabras. ¿okay? So es importante tener el, eh, digamos el, el lenguaje y el vocabulario activo. ¿okay? Este, si no hay más eh, preguntas por el momento, vamos a parar acá y mañana vamos a tener ejercicios prácticos con Going To, When is your birthday and eh, y, lo, y lo que viene para mañana, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, fue un placer conocerlos. Muchas gracias. Y mañana a la misma hora, ¿verdad? Este, si me traes a veces okay. un, un minutito o dos a veces, no se preocupen porque yo estoy en, la, en otra clase. Pero, este, aunque después nos quedemos uno o dos minutos para completar la hora con ustedes. Entonces, lo que me conecte y todo a veces, puede hacer que lleve tiempo, ¿eh? puede ser menos, ¿verdad? Thanks. Okay. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night